In today's Tesla news, we're getting a look at footage of a robot pulling still smoking casting from Gigapress. Why Tesla was recently supponed by the SEC over Musk's tweets again, a dive into Tesla's new self-driving car, and an update on Tesla's superchargers for other EVs in the US. Tesla just announced that it's developing a second generation Giga casting during its Q2 2022 earnings call. And according to Tesla, the Cybertruck will be constructed using the newest version of Giga casting. An intriguing new video from Tesla shows one of its robots removing a huge casting part from a Gigapress machine while it's still smoking. Tesla's new casting strategy will be crucial for the company's future, especially for the new vehicle's initiatives like the Cybertruck. Tesla has been making significant investments in alloy and casting technologies over the past few years to enable larger casting parts that have a potential to significantly streamline manufacturing. The largest casting machines in the world was purchased by the corporation in many units. Idra is the company that creates these enormous, expensive machines. 2020 saw the start of operation for Tesla's first Gigapress, which was installed at the Fremont facility. The device, which at the time was the first of its kind, has a clamping force between 55,000 and 61,000 kilogram newtons. One rear body piece that replaced 70 separate pieces of the Model Y has already been used in production by Tesla. Tesla made its first significant foray into large cast parts with those, and the car maker has since made significant investments in larger casting technology. At the Gigafactory Texas, where the car maker received many more enormous casting machines, Tesla has begun making the Model Y there using front and rear single piece casting. This strategy has drastically reduced the number of robots required per unit of the manufacturing capacity at Tesla's body shops. Tesla has unveiled an astonishing new video of one of those massive cast pieces emerging from the Gigapress to help viewers better grasp how this casting process operates. The single component, which represents roughly one-fourth of the whole automobile body, is still smoking after being released from the press. Tesla is currently investing much on big casting technology. Since then, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has revealed that the device will be used at the Gigafactory Texas to produce the Cybertruck body. Several other automakers are said to have contracted Idra and other producers of casting machines to do the same, since Tesla has been pushing in that path. In other news, Tesla has revealed in a fresh filing that it was recently served with a Sapona by the SEC about Elon Musk's tweets once more. It has happened twice in the past year. There have been a few encounters between Musk and the SEC, and they rarely ended well. The SEC most infamously sued Musk over his infamous funding secured remark, in relation to his unsuccessful attempt to take Tesla private in 2018. The same problem was raised when Tesla revealed recently that it has received a new Sapona from the SEC regarding governance processes around compliance with the SEC settlement. In its filing related to its interactions with the SEC, Tesla stated, For example, the SEC has issued Saponas to Tesla in connection with Elon Musk's prior statement that he was considering taking Tesla private. The take private investigation was resolved and closed with a settlement entered into with the SEC in September 2018, and as further clarified in April 2019 in an amendment. On November 16, 2021 and June 13, 2022, the SEC issued Saponas to us seeking information on our government's processes around the compliance with the SEC settlement as amended. The SEC may have been troubled by a tweet Musk posted about Tesla last month and served a Sapona on the business to find out whether the legal team had approved it first. What tweet that was, was unclear. Musk tweeted on Tesla's accelerating RHD Model Y production on June 13th, the day before the Sapona. We're working on accelerating RHD Model Y production. Didn't expect demand to be so high. In more exciting news, the first images of the FSD Beta 10.13 have arrived. Employees are now testing the most recent FSD Beta from Tesla before it's made available to the general public later this week. This version contains a lot of anticipated enhancements, such as the ability to solve turns that are more intricate and have a median. The car's enhanced path depiction is one enhancement that hasn't been mentioned until now though. The projected course of the vehicle will now be extended much further. A week or so later, he announced that the beta was being sent to workers, and that the public release would follow shortly. According to the most recent information we have, FSD Beta 10.13 will be released this week. Since it was a Saturday night, it's not entirely clear which week Elon meant when he claimed the software will be ready maybe the end of this week. 
but it appears we may have to wait at least a little more before the first testers begin receiving the most recent beta. And finally, good news for all EV owners, Tesla is almost ready to let other EVs use its superchargers in the United States. According to a recent Wall Street Journal report, Tesla has submitted an application for federal financing to extend its supercharger network, which now has over 35,000 charges and is the greatest EV infrastructure in the world. According to the paper, it is necessary to allow access to the other EVs in order to receive funding. This hints that Tesla may be considering opening the supercharger network to any EV manufacturer in the United States, a move that the car manufacturer has already pilot tested in Europe. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has previously talked about the prospect of including other automotive brands in the supercharger network. Musk tweeted last year that the charging network would be made available to other manufacturers. And it was! The pilot program was introduced in November 2021 and is currently accessible in 13 European countries. According to a report by the Wall Street Journal, recent regulatory findings and other papers suggest that Tesla intended to use federal funding to expand its supercharger network but it would need to provide charging support for other EV brands in order to be eligible for the funding. This just serves to confirm Tesla's presumptive intention to complete this project by the end of 2022. As new supercharger equipment was being manufactured, the White House stated in June that Tesla will allow other automakers to use its supercharger network. That's all for today's video. Remember to subscribe to stay updated with the latest Tesla news. Also, make sure to leave a like to help the channel out. See you in the next video.